I, I have a question for you guys related to, to uh, email. This is uh, Jesse, the, the thing in the news post, the post. Okay, so I have never personally that I can remember, I've never experienced a tasteful integration of email communication with a new connect. It's always like, if I connect with someone, either I'm added to their newsletter, which no one likes, or it's like a auto broadcast, which like still has the unsubscribe on the bottom. And I'm like, I know you didn't send this because it says unsubscribe on the bottom. What are you doing? Or, you know, so is, do you guys feel like, is there any way that you could do that where it's both tasteful and you're not confusing the person about you know how to get a hold of you you guys have any thoughts on that i could talk at hours for it but i don't know if everybody <laughs> you'll, will listen. you'll have to give us the short and skinny okay so you have in my opinion two options because i want to treat this like a conversion right so you don't want to think of it as like they accepted the connect that's an automatic conversion you yeah. want to think is the connect kind of like them landing on your landing page right where mm -hmm. you want to incentivize them to take the conversation to a more private area so you can kind of connect one-to-one -one. even though yes you can do that on linkedin doing it through email is much more personal so you could just send them a link be like hey i see that you have an issue with xyz which if you're using the system that you taught already kind of makes sense because you're only going to connect with people that you want to work with who you can help so you could offer kind of like a relevant lead magnet be like hey i, I know i have a mailing list you're probably on a dozen mailing lists but i actually have something that's really viable if you click here it can sign up there's a ton of cool stuff that like goes forward from that, but at the same time, even if you just like this one thing, you can immediately unsubscribe because you're trying to get them to do the easiest action possible, which is sign up, right? Um, but I think the actual issue you're dealing with is less getting them on the list and more how they're using email, right? Because that's the actual complaint is that most email is just thinly veiled marketing when in reality email is where you nurture relationships, start conversations, and essentially set yourself apart from marketing assets through an ongoing narrative that's interesting to the user. So if you have a really good email game that's dialed into what you're trying to accomplish in relation to customer management, coaching decisiveness, et cetera, you'll have a much better return and people are going to be really interested. Up and rates will go up, click throughs will go up. But the problem is if you just immediately get somebody, get their email, drop them in there and just start marketing to them, they didn't really agree to be marketed to and they didn't expect it. And that's the problem when most people who do this and by most, I mean like 99.9% .9 they're treating it purely transactional and email isn't a transactional platform. It's a proactive conversational one. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd be a good idea to like when, when somebody connects and you have their email, like the basically, and if this is a, a cold relationship, like you don't know them yet in real life, and you, you know, you're going to send a message to start the conversation, send an email at the same time, but not automated, just like a, something that kind of works hand in hand with what you're saying on LinkedIn. That way there's a, a point of reference in their inbox. One thing you could do is personally send them an email from your own account and then have the sign up for the email list in that email. And so you could send like, hey, I just sent you a personal email real quick. I have some stuff you might be interested in. So you're training them for the click through. And so the next click through is also very easy. But it's at this point where it's not going to hurt the relevancy of your list. So if you do have a big list and you start getting tons of people clicking spam because you just automatically added them, it's going to really hurt your deliverability rates. So you can lower that increased deliverability and engage the people you want by sending them a really light personal email after messaging them. So it's very top of mind, like a real estate person would be like, send a postcard, send a postcard, and then call. Be like, hey, I sent these last two postcards. I don't know if you got them. I just want to drop a line and connect, you know just stay top of mind. And it's like you taught with the messaging, like just question, answer, question, answer, opening like doors, right? Not closing them with just, hey, you're in this room, they gotta buy something to get out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody wants to be acknowledged. There's this core piece in hospitality uh, where everybody wants to be known and wants to be acknowledged. And when you are sending them something that is a relevant invitation, and then you follow up with, hey, I was thinking of you, I didn't see a response on this and it is actually personal. That makes a really big difference to people. The connection in their head is psychologically different. Mm, yeah. So I love what you're talking about. Maybe it'd be a good idea to like, if, if you have sales and avenue using tagging to, you know, let 
like give people time to engage because not everybody's on LinkedIn very often. And then once like a certain time frame goes by to where it's still fresh, but not too fresh, not too pushy, then you, you send them an email that's personalized. And then maybe that is like the bridge to where if they're not engaging on LinkedIn, you tastefully take it to email and then your, your kind of end game is the same, you know, con maybe it's, maybe it's also easier here to opt into the, like an email funnel. I think your issue is finding ways to connect human. One thing that I really like is sending videos to people. It helps me like increase personalness. So you can use Loom or a great, like not to plug anything, but a great video integrator for email is BombBomb. And you can shoot like these short, like 30 second, one minute clips. You can send it over and people are like, oh my God, this is really cool. You're speaking directly to them. Uploads automatically, same thing with Loom. So it's not like there's a ton of time that you're waiting for each one. It's in real time. And you send that short email, but like, and it's not even like an email, it's just a video. It's like, hey, thanks so much for clicking on this. I got some great stuff. Just join the list below. But you personalize it to like things that you see on the list and you do that 20 times a day. You're gonna have a much better open rate, click through rate, engagement rate, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Hey, Judy, I just saw you popped in here. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Very well. Good to see you. Do I have to show my face? No, you absolutely don't. Yeah, hey, there she is. How's it going? Good. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. All right. So, sorry to distract there. I just want to say hi to Judy. I've never had you on live, so <laughs> good to see you. So, uh, Judy, we we're just talking briefly about, you know, is there a, a tasteful way to integrate like to do email in tandem with, with like LinkedIn messaging to where you're not spamming. It's not an auto auto opt in. And uh, Jesse was just shared some thoughts. He does copywriting. So mm. yeah, good stuff. It's a fine balance. It's a very fine balance.